Hey, everybody, Dr. Rob Silverman here. I'm excited to be here, and you're going to love my guest. We're going to talk all about aesthetics right now with Rachel Varga. Take a look. Rachel, take it away. How are you doing today? I am fantastic here on the lovely west coast of Canada. We are the other side of the continent away from each other, but we are here to share a wonderful message to help all of you guys get great skin and age and possibly well from the inside out. Absolutely. And I'm excited that you're here too. We're going to talk about skin. So um, what, what I want everybody to know that you're a board certified aesthetic nurse specialist. You've had over 18,000 procedures before you've been in the procedures have been performed. International and trainer on aesthetics, aesthetic medicine, aesthetic nurses, and moving academic public. Now, with that one list, that awesome list of, of what you've accomplished, I didn't make any mistakes, right? I got them all right. Yeah, you got it all right. It was just a little bit choppy. So I'll just kind of break it down. Those are kind of like some big words. So mm -hmm. some people might be like, whoa, what's a board certified aesthetic nurse specialist? Well, it's a registered nurse. I've, I've gone through additional board certification to perform treatments like medical grade skincare treatments, lasers, injectables, body sculpting, helping people understand how to do things like dermal rolling. And I teach other physicians and nurses internationally on how to get their clients amazing outcomes. So that's that. And I, I love to write papers on basically adding to this really quickly advancing body of knowledge of regenerative medicine, anti-aging medicine, aesthetic medicine, aesthetic nursing. And I'm just really excited to see where the future of all of this is going because it's getting a little bit more high tech than I've ever seen it. And it's, you know, it's all about testing, not guessing at this point, in my opinion. Absolutely love it. Um, you know, we were talking before we came on and um, we were going to use some of the things that I need some help with. And, and both men and women need help aesthetically. Yep. So um, obviously, in many instances, the women usually seek you out. But um, we're and men. I work with a lot of male celebrities. And, and you should. And you should. So. We were talking about, I, I had admitted that I've got a ring under one of my eyes, a little brown ring, and I wanted to get rid of it. So let's talk about that. Yeah. Well, actually in February in Toronto, I was at this incredible, uh, incredible conference. So we were working with a top anatomist who basically is a physician that specializes in doing cadaver labs and teaching on that. So we were pulling apart the different layers of the face and the skin around the eyelids. This, I actually wrote a paper on this last year. It's titled providing optimal rejuvenation to the periocular area. And you can actually just find that paper on PubMed if you search my name, Rachel Varga. And the skin around the eyelids is actually paper thin. So the darkness that you see in your lower eyelid area is actually, you're seeing a combination of light reflecting from muscles and blood underneath the skin. Everybody has dark circles. I'm gonna tell you one thing that's gonna save you a lot of money. There's no product out there that is going to get rid of dark circles. If there was a product, I'd be recommending it. But the skin is so thin, that's why you see that discoloration. However, there are different things that you can do, like wearing a really fantastic medical grade mineral based sunscreen every single day, moisturizing your skin every day and doing things at home like dermal rolling a couple of times a week to basically promote the collagen in the area. And then there's also chemical peels and laser treatments to keep that skin really nice and thick to support uh, you know, healthy collagenesis, neocollagenesis and all of that to keep the skin thick. That's what we want. So the term tightening and lifting, I don't really like to use those words. What we want is just to make the skin super healthy, as plump as possible. And then there are other non-surgical and surgical options. So it's, it's really different for everybody, but definitely the eyes are the first thing that people often ask me about both men and women. And, you know, there's so many things that we can be doing, but really what you do at home all the time is really key. And I'm happy to uh, provide some one-on-one -on -one guidance. Yeah, you got me excited about the derma rolling. I was like, you did that. I was like, I could do that. I'm ready. You know, send yeah, that over. Come on. Great. Right? You get it tomorrow. I'm ready to go. Yeah, it can get there pretty quick. Thanks now, to, you know, shipping. 
you you, talk, you talked about uh, the collagen and everything. Are you a proponent of supplements, like collagen supplements, oh, yeah. things like that? Big time. Really, what we do on the inside sets the stage for happy, healthy cells. Our skin is our largest organ, and it's a abs. It's a direct reflection of what's going on in the inside. I sleep better and I feel better when I have my bone broth in the evening, and it's really nice. It's like this nice warm you know, savory drink that you have before bed. I love it. Uh, but the thing is with collagen supplements is people are hopeful that when they take the collagen supplement, it will magically deposit itself in this wrinkle or fine mm-hmm. line and really gets distributed everywhere in your body. But these are simply layers that you can be doing in your daily living to give your body and your skin the best chance possible to be as healthy and vibrant as it can be. That sounds exciting. So let's continue with some of the things that we noticed that I could use to uh, help myself uh, as I advance in age. You know, you get the uh, the frown lines. We we call them the urn lines, listening to everybody as a doctor. Uh, What do you recommend about that? Yeah, well, it depends. So certain people are going to be, you know, more able to get other treatments than others based on if they have any autoimmune conditions. If you have an autoimmune condition, you sort of want to stay away from some of these, um, say, for example, injectable procedures, some lasers, because we just simply don't know how you're going to respond. What we're talking about here isn't to be taken as medical information. It's educational info. And to see what's kind of right for you, just book a call with me. And uh, everyone listening is going to get 15% off of a one-on-one call with me using the promo code DRSilverman15 at rachelvarga.ca. So for you, looking at you, I would, first of all, I would start with your skin health. What are you doing every day? So keeping it basic with your skincare, cleanse your moisturizer, sunscreen, scrub. Those are non-negotiables, but the trick is using the right products that are right for you. And yes, your genetics and your, your background does actually play, um, it does actually play a role in which products with different ingredients that I might want to be recommending for you. So I have a sweet cheat sheet. Uh, It's my sophisticated skin cheat sheet. It walks you through those four steps. And there's one bonus step on there at rachelvarga.ca. It's it's dead easy. You do not have to have this, you know, 10 step beauty routine. Keep it simple. Wash your face morning and night. Moisturize morning and night. Use a really good mineral-based reef safe sunscreen every single day. Exfoliate a couple of times a week. That's kind of what you need to do first. You need to start to kind of like stabilize your skin a little bit. And, and then I would start to, you know, maybe incorporate things like dermal rolling at home. So there's a whole method to the madness. And this trend that I'm seeing, unfortunately, is people are buying these rollers off these third-party auction websites. Mm. And they're going with a roller that's way too deep. See, no scary needles here. And it's too painful. They have no idea how to prep the skin or what to do afterwards. So if you're really wanting to maximize what you're doing at home and be very efficient with your time and money and the energy spent on what you're doing, just have a little bit of guidance to kind of steer you in the right direction as opposed to just like, oh, this influencer is using their product in this way or this article is saying to do this. It should be actually very customized to uh, what you need. And then with rolling, it's fantastic at home options. Then you layer it up afterwards with things like glutathione, hyaluronic acid, vitamin A, retinol, vitamin B, copper peptide, lactic acid, the list goes on. And uh, there's definitely sort of a right way to do it that's going to maximize your efforts. And then there's also kind of like just trying to hodgepodge things together. You know, you might be, you have to be really careful with these rollers. Some of these rollers that are being made, the metal is actually like a heavy metal or they're not made very well. So these ones that I work with are, they'll last you about one or two years, which is great. As opposed to some of these cheaper options you'll find that are like a 10 to 20 use disposable item. And we have to be smarter, smarter consumers, not just going with what's cheap, readily available. Someone says this is good. You want to work with people that have been doing this for a long time. And it's, I've been doing this for about 10 years, 18,000 procedures, lots of work with people all over the world. 
Outstanding. I'm excited. I'm going to go. I'm ready. I need yeah. that, that skin. You know, I'm a Metro guy. Definitely got some vanity in there. So, and, and you're right. It's so important. I mean, you know, you're all put together. You're neat. You're clean. Lovely and all that. And, and when we speak and everything, people look and, and they want to know, are you prepared? They're not, you know, I don't have to be Brad Pitt, but I have to look like, you know, uh, I take care of myself because we are talking about health. And if someone doesn't look like they stay healthy and stay healthy for their age bracket, it's a little disconcerting to everybody else. Sort of, um, we have to be exemplary. Um, and, and you do a great job of all that. And um, I'm sitting here going, man, I thought I, you know, I thought I was doing enough. I was taking this and that, and now I got stuff to add, but it's okay because it is truly important. You know, it's interesting. You spoke about uh, some of the um, ingredients and the average, and I'm not picking on ladies, the average female uses 168 different chemicals per day, the average man, 85. And you have some criteria that you want to share with everybody that you use in the lines that you use. Yeah, absolutely. And my husband, he is a professional athlete. So living a healthy lifestyle, he's on me, I'm on him. I, he, he's my biggest motivator to eat well and continue with my exercise and my stretching every single day. And then I, I'm on him to do his skin and dermal rolling. And I feel like we've been together for about 10 years now. We look better than when we met. And it's nice to have that support and have partners do these these rituals and things together. I just, I just think it's, it's absolutely fantastic. And I just want to give a shout out that, you know, yes, there's a cost to do some of these things, but there's kind of, you know, you can spend your whole month's food budget on your rejuvenation and your skincare. I don't think you should do that. I just think that it should, um, there's a very economical way and a smart way to be a more conscious consumer and access these things. And with men, I do find that men are often exposed to a lot of toxins in their, their products. And unfortunately, what that does is it starts to mess with their hormones and they have hair loss, they have erectile dysfunction in their 30s, and it's, it's from what's snuck in, their body sprays. Don't get me started on those. Their mm. body sprays, their deodorants, their shaving cream, whatever they're using for their shampoo, whatever. So we all need to really clean up our act. Look at what we're using. I'm a firm believer for your body washes, your body oils to go as ultra clean as possible, support your local formulators that are making super clean products. But when it comes to the face and anti-aging, I do recommend going that next step and working with medical grade products. So I work with about 10 different brands and they are all paraben free, phthalate free, artificial dyes, fragrances free, and not tested on animals. And these are companies that, you know, they treat their employees well, we have to be we vote with our dollars. So supporting companies that, um, you know, they do have some type of conscious impact on the environment and social impact with their stances on things. That stuff's pretty important to me. So I kind of sift through which products are great, what people keep coming back for what we see results with because we're both clinicians, we want to recommend things that we're seeing working for people. Absolutely. That's exciting. And um, those numbers were numbers that I had looked up when we talk uh, in reference to detox and everything wasn't picking on anyone, but I, the average American is exposed to 12 chemicals per day. I mean, that, that, that's incredible. And what I really like what you do is it's, it's not aesthetic. You're talking about aesthetics that lead to also health. Well, and actually, think, it's the other way around. It's the health that leads to aesthetics. I like that. Mm hmm. I like, I'm going to write that one down and take that. Excellent. So it's, <laughs> it's not just looking good. It's actually being healthy and then looking good. It's, you know, looking good is just a byproduct of being an awesome human functioning as optimally as you can. And I really actually started to clue into this. So this whole holistic way of me looking at anti-aging, the future of regenerative medicine, all of this, it's, it's a bit ironic coming from someone like myself that's made a career performing aesthetic procedures. And what I started to clue into a couple of years ago, these, these people would come and see me and either in the clinic or through an online virtual call all over the world. And they would be men and women in their sixties to nineties. And I would just, you know, be interacting with them. And it's like, man, these people have it going on. And they've never done a rejuvenation procedure ever. They're not even following a great skincare routine. They have fine lines, wrinkles, volume loss, you know, lower eye bags, brown spots 
but it's just something that they had within and their vibrancy and their radiance. So that's actually where things have moved in my practice is I started to take notes out of these, you know, very vibrant individuals playbooks. And I started to uncover a few different commonalities. And those really are what I talk about um, in my unlock unlocking your vitality ebook. I have this really great course with my husband, uh, but for one-on-one guidance, that's that you have to do things that's customized for you. And, and you have a, a fantastic background on this, Dr. Rob Silverman, with your understanding of different genetic tests. So some person could put coconut oil all over the body and it could actually be great, right? I'm one of those people. Or they could put it on their body and they get rashes, they get redness, mm-hmm. they get irritation because their body simply doesn't work well with that ingredient. So by not just doing what everybody's telling you to do, but to actually test for it, that's where things are going. But with these individuals age 60 to 90 that have never done a thing, mm. they just, they're vibrant, they're radiant, they're beautiful. They have rituals. They've cultivated these rituals around different body, mind, spirit, and energy practices. Basically, when you can balance all of those aspects, you are going to be your most beautiful version. And it really actually just comes down to balancing. It's a balancing act. Balancing your hormones is that going to have a trickle down effect into all of those other aspects. It's fascinating. Outstanding. You know, you keep referring to these genetic tests and we know that genes are not your destiny. They don't don't fire the environment and everything that we do. Uh, What tests are you talking about and how can they get them from you? Yeah. Toolboxgenomics.com is a great resource. You're one of the board of directors for that company. And I met one of your colleagues, um, Dr. Erica Gray, last year and i love what she's doing you guys are working together you guys have a great test it's it's really easy my husband and i we both did it i did it live in uh, one of my summer skin camp programs it's adorable it's just like quick little cheek swab basically you go to the website you order the test you want i did the nourish and detox test that's most specific to skin my husband did the endurance test because he's a pro athlete and we do the cheek swab, we sent it off to the lab, we got emailed back this, this report that was really easy to, to follow, break down, see what I needed to adjust in my daily living practices to reduce oxidative stress. That's sort of the goal. Reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in your body so that your body can function the way that it wants to. And then as a byproduct, you're gonna be getting better skin. Uh, and they can get that test from you also. Yep. Yep. Just do toolboxgenomics.com forward slash Rachel for 10% off of your test kit. Outstanding. Yeah. Um, we utilize the test in the office all the time, really to make up um, what we call that functional medicine uh, flow chart for them. And I, I love the way you're doing it for health and, and then aesthetics. Uh, and it's really true. You know, I was giving it some thought while you were talking about that. And, you know, just look at the, the belly, if you will, the visceral and the, and the belly fat. There's a great example of uh, health on the inside and externally looking and, you know, um, not being able to see your belt buckle poses, you know, that's, that was the first test I ever did. I called it the belt buckle test. If you can't look down and see your belt buckle, guess what? You got to lose a few. So um, great idea. Now it's funny you said coconut oil and, and everything like that. And you're specifically talking about those saturated fats. So, um, I was wondering, um, what, you know, what do you recommend adding on the skin? I know you kind of said it, but um, I'm trying to peel it out of you a little bit. Yeah, I love just keeping it super simple, like getting an ultra clean product from a locally made, you know, store near you. Do what you can to support these local companies. The medical grade body products in the, the lines that I work with, they're very expensive for what they are. Yes, there's added antioxidants and and nutrients in them, but just go local. I do actually have one of my favorite body oils. It's a pineapple body oil. You can actually just get your hands on that on my e-store at rachelvarga.ca. I do have it available. And that's actually my favorite body product right now. But there's also a body product that you can use in conjunction with dermal rolling for the body. So when, you know, especially women, they hit 50, 60 plus, they start to complain about creepiness on their inner arms, brown spots, laxity to their abdomen, 
laxity and dimpling cellulite on their thighs. So I'm actually a huge fan of not only doing dermal rolling to the face, but also on the body. So when you start to use things with a, a body roller, it's basically just a longer roller. So you can cover a greater area as opposed to the, the smaller roller that's for the face, which is better for more contoured areas. You follow it up with a lactic acid solution, a vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E oil. And yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And the recommendations I make with dermal rolling are protocols that have been around for well over a decade. And I like to let the sort of like new flavors that are coming into aesthetics, regenerative medicine, supplementation, all that to actually be used for a while to make sure that the products are as effective as we, we want them to be. So it does take a little bit of time for the research to come forward and get that long-term result and research from those formulations. So body rolling, I love it. It's something that I actually really kick up a couple notches in the summer. Facial rolling is awesome as well. Even a body and facial fascial release. So you know all about the fascia. You also know all about the spine and the vertebrae. But, uh, you know, gua sha technique when you're massaging your skin to get that lymphatic fluid moving. I love gua sha for reducing cellulite. And you can actually just use like the end of a mason jar lid to actually like scrape the tissue. And that, that really actually helps to promote smoother fascia, smoother muscle fibers, and is like a really cheap and easy way to help out your cellulite. Yeah, it's a really cool tip. Yeah, I, I, you know, you just mentioned all about the fascia, the saran wrap of the body, and when it gets tight, it looks like it's wrinkling. And if yeah. it's nice and uh, smooth, you, you look tighter, more vibrant and younger. I miss my facials. You're killing me. I miss my face. <laughs> you may be seeing my, oh, wow, I get that when I get a facial. Yeah. I did want to ask you the future of aging rejuvenation. Give us some input on that. It's testing, not guessing. That's the future. It's no longer about, okay, what is this influencer saying? What is this latest article saying? Because unfortunately what I've seen are a lot of what's called paid advertorials. You see this ad for say this product and little do you know that that ad is actually, a, it's a paid ad and not just information on a product that's for public awareness. So I really feel for the consumer right now. That's why I'm so passionate about just kind of steering people in the right direction to actually spend less than they probably realize that they, that they can. It's not about using like a $200 moisturizer. It's, it's really about just being smarter and getting a more customized framework and a whole plan. So that's what I do for people. We go, I go over, you know, what their skin goals are, what products I think that they could be using at home if dermal rolling is going to be an option for them. And then other options like chemical peels, different lasers, you work with lasers in your clinics. I'm a big fan of technologies like IPL, Erbium lasers. There's also body sculpting. You have body sculpting as well. And so when you start to layer being super healthy and then all this home care stuff, I find that that is actually what makes your in-clinic procedures even that much more effective because if you're, I, I work with people all the time that they're not, that's most of the people I work with are kind of like following what I'm sharing, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. But people that I have seen maybe more in the past that were just coming in for injectables, they weren't doing the skincare, they weren't doing the at-home stuff, they weren't living healthily, they weren't getting laser treatments. It didn't have the same outcome, just having injectable procedures. It's, it's really when you can layer all of that and have a plan laid out for you. That's really, it's what people want. And that's what I give people. And it's, it's kind of like, I feel like that customized approach and testing. So for example, genetic tests, gut microbiome tests, you know, testing your, the health of your environment that you live in. What type of cleaning products are you using? Do you have mold in your home? What's your EMF exposure? How much time are you getting outside in nature? what does your nutrition look like? That's it. That's the future of it. And it's like, I feel like it's getting more into the avenue of what can we do to just give our body what it wants to function more optimally. So you're essentially testing the not guess to allow the optimization of people's genetic starting point 
to where they can go. And um, you're a big proponent of lifestyle, not just let's say injectables and the end result. Everybody wants a you know a knife or a pill, and they don't want to put any work in. And trying to purport that true aesthetic and true health is something that should be every day. Absolutely, absolutely. Being dialed in with your nutrition every single day you know, having, having some sweets, maybe not every night, but maybe like once a week. And if you're going to have sweets, just find an organic version. It's actually one of my husband and I's, it's our, one of our, our favorite activities is going to the store and selecting our treats for that week. And we'll go to places like Whole Foods that are going to have some options for us that will have organic treats. Like, yeah, you're still getting the sugar, but, but just kind of limiting how much you're exposing to that. But it's all about balance in literally every aspect. But also I find uh, a key element in my most vibrant and radiant clients that I work with from various ages is what is their morning and nighttime routine? What does that look like? What is their ritual, if you will? Interesting. So you're really getting into lifestyle. And I noticed you spoke something about a pillow, uh, an anti-aging pillow. Am I, am I sta stating that correctly? Yeah, I'm a huge fan of this one. So if you check out my social media at Rachel Varga official, or you go on my YouTube channel or my blog at rachelvarga.ca, you'll see some information that I have on a really fantastic, it's actually a device. This pillow is not just, it's a pillow. It's actually a medical device. And it actually gives you the right angle for your neck. So as a chiropractor, you will be very happy with that. Uh, I have problems side sleeping because I'm working with uh, an injury myself. So when I sleep on my back, it just gives me the right angle. But if say, for example, people have a shoulder or a hip or a knee injury or something like that, and they can't sleep on their back and they have to sleep on their side, this pillow will actually prevent the compression and compression on your facial features is going to accelerate three things in your aging process the breakdown of bone in your face. So for example, the cheekbone, the mandible, it's also going to break down fat pads and cause more compression and descent of your fat pads. There's a fabulous article on the different fat pads online. You can just Google, you know, scientific article on facial fat pads. What happens as we age is these fat pads, they, they, there's, they get smaller and they descend. So when you're actually talking about your, your lower eyelid region, one of the reasons why you have the shadowing here, there's just been a little bit of volume loss into the cheek. And then also we lose um, elastin and, and, and collagen and all of that. So basically any vertical line on your face, so vertical lines to the brows, the forehead, the lips, smile lines here, nasolabial fold, marionette zone, they are hugely contributed to side sleeping. So just sleeping in the right way and not compressing mm. your face for eight hours a night is probably one of the simplest tips that, uh, that I can share with you guys. And I had my last pillow, I think about six or seven years ago. So you can get yours uh, at envypillow.com. And I believe the promo code is Rachel10. Run that all down. And yeah. You'll definitely put this all in the comment section for everybody, right? Yeah. Yeah. But that, that's a fantastic one. I really like the copper pillow. And we've been hearing a lot about copper for its antimicrobial benefits, but also its anti-aging benefits. If you've ever heard of copper peptides, they're in one of the serums that I recommend you, you use in conjunction with dermal rolling, if it's right for you, which will determine through a one-on-one -on -one call. Because some people will think, oh, if I do this treatment, it says it's going to reduce fine lines, wrinkles, brown spots, all of that, but you have to have realistic expectations. So things like dermal rolling is just a really great at-home option. So if some of your listeners say, for example, are on a pension, doing a really solid skincare routine with rolling is, is fantastic. And then adding things like lasers and, and other types of injectables, there's cleaner versions of injectables out there, by the way, it's no longer just that one injectable that we all know. I'm not going to say the drug name here on the call, but we all know about mm -hmm. that. There, there's so many options now, and it's really great to see these cleaner options coming forth because since 2013, there have been 
studies to actually talk about how certain injectables can cause immune responses leading to immunogenicity. Uh, in other words, the treatment stops working for them because their immune system has launched a response against the active component. We do not want to be launching any type of immune response with whatever we are doing to help our skin look better. We want to be creating, you know, certain types of injuries, control injuries. That's what dermal rolling does to promote collagen. Certain laser resurfacing treatments like you're, you know of are going to be doing that as well. So causing that little bit of redness for a couple of days, it's a controlled injury to then promote uh, neocollagenesis, which is great. Fun fact, there's about 16 different types of collagen and there's more being discovered all the time. So things like your skincare and dermal rolling will support certain types of collagen and things like in-clinic lasers will support other types of collagen, which is really neat. So just combine everything. That's exciting. So, um, you know, I, I saw that you mentioned uh, the gut and you've mentioned some specific others. Do you do any work with your um, clients on um, foods, foods for skin rejuvenation? Do you make any dietary suggestions? Yeah, actually, right before we hopped on this live call, I did a live call in my summer skin camp. So that runs in the summer. It's basically a group training program where a lot of us come together and we just learn together. I have incredible guests on the show. I get into actually more of what I get into in a live one-on-one -on -one call and deeper into what I get into on the podcast. Obviously this is paid content. So I will share a little bit uh, more openly uh, with people in that program. And it, yeah, I just, I did a great interview talking about, I have a whole bunch of supplements right in front of me here. And it's just, you have to give your body what it wants and you will figure out what your body wants through your gene testing. And I just see so many people trying this diet and that diet or the like an elimination diet, but they're spending a lot of time doing that when you can just do a quick cheek swab and for about $250, there you go. Agreed. Just know where your starting point is. Like, like I said before, genes are not your destiny. Yeah. But, you know, they load the gun, but they don't fire the gun. And, and, and to speak to the idea of the diet, you know, um, doing so much work with people's diets is, well, I want to do the keto. Well, how do you know it's right for you? Well, I yeah, want to yeah. do the paleo. Well, how do you know it's right for you? Now, mm -hmm. we both agree that anything that we change most of our clients and patients to will be better than what they've taken because they're essentially eating tons of sugar. Can't be good. It's got to be deleterious. For not only health, but it's got to be deleterious for this. They're eating French fries, uh, trans fats, and the such. So by taking those genetic tests, that's a starting biomarker to ascertain what's right for you. So my wife and I, we're going to do a one hour with you. Clearly, you know, me being a male, she being a female of different ethnic backgrounds, you're probably going to make different recommendations. 100%. Each one of us. 100%. So for example, you, what's, what's your ethnic background? What's kind of like your, your heritage? Oh gosh, 50% Russian and 16 other things. I am what was called Eastern European Jewish. I never knew Jewish was a race, but that's what they said. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting. Because, so when you go in the sun, you probably tan really easily. I do. I get a little red and mm -hmm. then it goes brown. Yeah. So you're what we call a Fitzpatrick skin type two. So there are some laser treatments that aren't actually going to be the best option for you because of that beautiful Jewish lineage that you have, right? And it's important for a provider to know that, so to guide you in the right direction. And for me, I'm a Fitzpatrick two. So you're kind of like a two, three. Mm -hmm. So you'll burn and then you'll tan easily. And mm -hmm. I'm a two. So the higher you go up on the Fitzpatrick a scale, basically the more pigmentation that you have, the more melanin you have in your skin, which leads to a greater innate protection for developing skin cancers. So the lower you are, the less melanin you have, like myself, we, I burn easily. Mm -hmm. I have a, uh, a predisposition to developing precancerous lesions. Mm -hmm. I got to be on top of my skincare and my sun protection so that I don't get skin cancers or unsightly precancerous lesions like actinic keratosis, the red flaky stuff that you have to go to your doctor to get burned off. Listen, there's ways to prevent them. And skin cancer is a real threat. If we don't look after our skin, we develop skin cancers, those cells can actually 
go to other areas of the bodies, metastasize and cause cancers elsewhere. So I actually, I practice what I preach next month. I have my full body scan. I go to a clinic that's got this piece of photography that they can actually take pictures of me and see uh, which cells may need to come off. There's literally three. I'm actually quite concerned about that literally just popped up. And so what I do is when I go outside and I want to enjoy myself with, you know, my husband and swim, things like that, get out in nature, swim. I have to take internal antioxidants to give myself that internal sun protection. And then, then I also use mineral based sunscreen uh, as well. So again, layering those two pieces, not just sunscreen, but also layering the internal antioxidants to give your, your, your body that protection from the inside out. I can be outside longer. It takes longer for me to burn. Hopefully I don't burn, but that, that is my skin type. So your, your wife, what is her skin type? What's her she ethnic background? is Asian. So she's uh, Malaysian. Beautiful. So there's definitely, she's more of like a Fitzpatrick, you know, three, four, so there are for sure some laser treatments that just aren't going to be a good fit for her. So there's other actives that she might want to focus on to help to reduce that overproduction of melanin in the skin, which creates brown spot deposits on the skin. So brown spots on the skin can mean a few things. Sometimes I've spoken with a number of other gene analysts on this, that brown spots, liver spots on the skin can actually be a sign of congested, congested detoxification pathways. Uh, so you're nodding, so you know all about that. But there are really cool supplements that we can actually take to reduce that overproduction of, of melanin uh, from the melanocytes to actually clear things up like melasma from the inside out, which is really, really cool. But the trick is to use supplements that are backed by 10 to 15 years of third-party research. That's, that's what I recommend. Outstanding. So we got a few minutes left and I got a bunch of questions. So I'm looking at my phone yeah, and um, cause it's the only way that I can get the questions. I can't see them on my screen right here. And I'm going to rapid fire them too. Cause we, we've got several number one. <laughs> um, what's your feeling on tanning boosts? Oh gosh. I did those for a good two years, ages 18 to 20 and I'm paying for it. That's why I got to be on top of my, my mm. skin cancer checks that I have no idea why those things were legal. And whoever started to tell people, go get a base tan, you'll be less likely to burn on your holiday. That is the worst advice out there. If you want to fake your tan, however, I do work with a beautiful organic self tanner line. So when you book a call with me, I'll make some recommendations as to which items in that line can work for you. And I have a really cool podcast actually coming out on that topic of self tanner, uh, on the Rachel Varga podcast, that's actually going to be dropped this weekend. Yeah, that was the second question about the spray tans. Oh, no, so, I wouldn't do spray tans because they're getting absorbed in your mucous membranes. So either around your vagina or in your mouth or your nose. And my understanding is that the active components in self tanners are tested on the skin, not on your smooth mucosa. Okay, so no spray tans, no tanning beds. We're going to avoid those. Uh, wow. Uh, what kind of diet do you take? You know, yeah. What, what, what diet do you follow is what they're trying to ask. Modified paleo slash Mediterranean. So my gene testing has determined that I'm best following a Mediterranean diet. I actually played around with this. Uh, I actually was, was interested in attending medical school a couple of years ago. So I was studying for the MCAT. I was following, uh, basically, a Greek, Italian blue zone diet, Mediterranean. Whoa, that's what my genes told me I wanted to do. So I was really limiting my meat intake to maybe once or twice a week, do tons of greens. I do really well with eggs. I actually grow a lot of my own greens here. Mm. I'm on Vancouver Island. I got farms across the street and eating as many greens as I possibly can. My, my friends call me rabbits. It's pretty fun. They call me a rabbit. That's you got to get those active enzymes and if you can grow them and you're picking them that day and consuming them that day, as opposed to from the market or from like a, a local farm stand or, or local farmer's market, then you're going to be getting higher levels of nutrients in your foods. A lot of questions pertaining to what you do. Very interesting. Exercise regimen. 
Okay. Well, I am dealing with an injury. So before that, um, very frustrating. So if any of you are dealing with pain and injury, I rely on my chiropractor for my, my adjustments a hundred percent so that I don't get headaches. And so that my ribs don't go out of whack. My neck doesn't lock up. But for years I was doing kickboxing, jujitsu, running, lifting weights, working out with the personal trainer, If you don't know where to start, I recommend that you do work out with a personal trainer. My husband's a six-time pro athlete, six-time pro world champion kickboxer. So that's why I do a lot of martial arts, but I haven't really been able to, but there's a mountain right next to me. So I get up that mountain every day. If I can't run, I'll walk it. I'll walk as fast as I can. And actually my gene testing told me to not necessarily do too much vigorous exercise about 20 minutes of high intensity cardio a couple of times a week, but actually more leisure activities, which was really, really interesting. So things like badminton or sort of outdoor things like, like bocce ball, whatever. Um, But I move every single day. If I don't move, my body hurts, my hips hurt, my, my, my quads get tight. I got to move and yoga. Actually, when I was doing yoga every single day and not hitting the gym, And then I went to the gym afterwards, I lost all my muscle mass. So I'm a firm believer in balancing. I have a cute YouTube video on this where I actually share with you guys what I did to get ready for this incredible scuba diving with sharks, uh, you know, photo shoot I did in Belize a little while ago and balancing your cardiovascular training, your strength and conditioning and also your flexibility. So yoga, lifting the weights, doing your cardio, you got to get all three of those in. Uh, another question as we get towards that finish line, um, do you have a consultation, in your consultation, do you talk about hair by chance? I get asked this all the time. I mean, look at my hair. I have <laughs> enough hair for three people. <laughs> 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 yes. And even if you are losing hair, for example, um, stress, aging, nutrients, um, you know, being, being lacking in certain nutrients can lead to hair loss, graying of hair. So yes, I do talk about different methods, what you can do with at home, say dermal rolling, uh, stamping to basically create channels of injury and then different things to put on top of the the scalp and the hairline that you can do from the comfort of your own home. And there's also treatments that you can do in clinic for supporting hair restoration that yes, of course, I do talk about in a one-on-one call. Yeah, that was a great one. And that that was a man also was asking about that. I was like, yes. Men always ask me about that. So all about my hair. It's all about my hair. Low brows, hooded eyelids, puffy lower eye bags, brown spots. How do I look better? How do I keep my hairline better? I work with male celebs and that's what they all ask me about. And I I think it's fantastic. Guys wanting to age really well too. So I'm uh, keenly attuned to how to um, do uh, both types of consultations for men, women, and in between. Last question before we let you go, because I know you're really busy. You've got clients, you've got things to do. I'm at, yeah, I'm actually get, doing a consultation right after this with a lovely right. lady. How can they get in touch with you? So mm-hmm. we need all your handles. Yeah. Well, everyone listening as, you know, a thank you for having me, Dr. Silverman. So the code for you guys to use for 15% off of a one-on-one consultation. This is very different than the free consults you're going to be getting at a clinic for 15, 30 minutes. You're meeting with a consultant. They're going to sell you laser packages. They're going to sell you this. This is different. This is like a whole plan for you for an hour. I don't know why more people aren't doing this, but I have been working with this model for many, many years and people want this type of plan. So that's available at rachelvarga.ca. Use promo code Dr. Silverman 15. So that's doctor with DR Silverman 15, 15% off. And everything else that you want to learn about me, I have great articles on the blog, the Rachel Varga podcast, Rachel Varga YouTube, at Rachel Varga official Facebook and Instagram. I'm kind of all over, just always putting out a ton of free information to help guide you guys towards what I'm learning in my conversations with some of the biggest heavy hitters health wellness icons out there. These are the people that I learn with, that I talk to, that I grow with, like yourself, Dr. Robert Silverman. And we all share with one another to really uh, bring forth the highest level of care possible in this day and age. Great. I mean, you've been fabulous. I took a ton of notes. 
I'm excited about my upcoming hour consult. Hint yeah, hint. that's yeah, man. Let's fantastic. do it. Let's do it before and after. Come on, I oh, love it. Right. I'm out there. I love it. And I thank you so much for your time. We have to do it again. Thank you for having me. I'm really pumped. Thanks so much for taking time once again, Dr. Rob Silverman, Rachel Varga, Proven Health Alternatives.